It's never been so easy to remove the background from your image. Today I'm going to show you three different ways to do that. Let's go. Hey, what's good creators? Welcome back to Monzon Media. If it's your first time here, we talk about all things to do with content creation. Keeping in mind your budget, we're looking at three different software today to remove the background in your images. One of them is removebg.com. The second one is Pixlr. And the third one is Canva. So we're gonna go ahead and start with removebg.com. And we're gonna start with this one image of myself that was done on a cell phone, no special lighting really, just available light, and against uh, a one colored background. You know, as much as possible, you want the cleanest background to get best results. Now, after a few seconds, you see that uh, it's removed the background completely. It does a very, very clean job around the edges. Now, the only downside with this is your image is limited to a certain size. Now for thumbnails, you got to think about, you know, people viewing this on mobile or on a tablet. Uh, for even on a desktop, the thumbnail quality doesn't have to be high res. To get a high res version, you have to pay for it. Click on the pricing information on the site. Now with that being said, it, it works very well for for thumbnails specifically. Now I'm going to take the same image, open it up in Pixlr, and the version of Pixlr we're using is Pixlr X. If you haven't seen my thumbnail tutorial, click on the card above and it'll lead you towards that. Basically what you do here is click AI Cutout. The good thing about Pixlr is that you could do it at its original size at high res. The downside is you have to wait a few seconds. There is a 10 second ad that plays as it processes, but to me that's not a big deal. So again, you can see that it does a fairly good job. It's not as clean as B Remove BG. You see these areas here, a little bit here. Ooh, look at that hair. Uh, but it does, again, a fairly good job and you could probably get the eraser tool and erase this out. Uh, and there is no size restrictions. So now we're gonna take the picture into Canva so here's the caveat with Canva though. You have to pay for the pro version to remove the background, but it's good to know you have other free options like Pixlr and Remove BG. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the background here. And after a few seconds, we'll let it run and you're gonna see how easy it is. What I love about Canva is that it is so, so accurate. If we were to uh, zoom in here, the edges are very, very clean. Very clean all around. It is really hard to beat in terms of removing the background. So now what I'm going to do to put these programs to the test is choose an image that has more of a busier background. So I'm going to choose this image of one of my favorite drummers. Uh, I am a musician that I met at a drum clinic uh, a couple years ago. And her name's Annika Niles. Not sure if there's any drummers in there. If you are a drummer, hit me up in the comments below and uh, let me know. Background is done fairly well. Again, the quality is not that great. The, the edges are actually pretty, pretty accurate. You know, the hair still looks somewhat natural, but it does a very good job. So let's go into Pixlr. There's a lot of stuff back here, really busy. We're gonna hit AI Cutout. Oh, that is not very good at all. Part of the guitar cases are still there. Some of the background here doesn't really do a great job. There's a lot of stuff going on in the background. Pixlr just is not handling it very well. So big points to remove BG for doing 
a great job uh, on that aspect. Now let's head over to Canva. I'm gonna delete this image. Guys, if you're getting value out of this, toss me a like uh, below and uh, would love to hear from you in the comments. We're gonna go into effects, remove the background and see how Canva, wow. So if we zoom in here, quality is terrible. Uh, I get that. Um, but the edges, very good. You know, around the hair, does a really good job. It's really hard to be Canva. I hope that was helpful for you guys, regardless of what you decide to use. It's great to have all these options and it's really up to you on what works for your workflow. So let me know in the comments below if you use any three of these programs, what your experiences are. In the meantime, hit record and create.